guys, welcome back to another video. I sound a little bit weird in today's video, I'm a little bit sick. But, uh, yeah, I'm doing a pet tier list. So many people have been asking for it. I know I've been kind of spamming tier lists here lately, but, uh, a lot of you guys have been asking for more tier lists every time I make a new one. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go and make a new one today. We're making a pet tier list. If you're wondering what this image is, I accidentally put it in here, so. First off, we're starting with this. It's automatically S tier. But, uh, next up, we got the Infinite Gojo pet, which... Who has that pet? But it's a pretty bad a pet. Uh, I don't think it's an insane pet. Uh, it deals 12 times the player's attack and gives 15% extra crit chance for 10 seconds. Which, I don't know. I don't really find that too good. Uh, I'm gonna put it in B tier. If you're wondering why some of them look like characters, it's because I couldn't get a screenshot of the pet. So yeah, deal with it. Next up, we got Accelerator Pet. It's actually not too bad. It does 12 times the player's attack and uh, reduces all skill cooldown by 4%. Or not 4%, by 4 seconds. So I don't think it's terrible, but uh, I've seen better pets. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in A tier though. Next up, we got the Chainsaw Pet. It uh, does 12 times the player's attack and increases crit chance or crit damage by 20% for 8 seconds. In my opinion, it's worse than the Gojo Pet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in C tier. Now, if uh, epic and rare pets were included in this, this would be a B or A tier, but they're not. We do have three legendary pets, but uh, next up we got Shadow Monarch Pet. It does 12 times the player's attack and increases the cooldown reduction for, uh, to 100% for uh, 8 seconds. My opinion, that's really good. I'm gonna put it in S tier. Uh, I'm just gonna move this down because this is gonna confuse some people. But next up we got Shadow Accelerator. He does 12 times the player's attack and increases movement speed movement speed for 8 seconds and reduces the cooldown reduction of all skills by 3.5 seconds. Which is S tier for me. I don't think it's above uh, Shadow Monarch. For Dimensions, yeah, it's better. Uh, but for Raid, I don't think it is. That 100% crit chance is really gonna help. Next up, we got Gear 5 Luffy Pet. Gear 5 Luffy Pet uh, deals 13 uh, time, or 12 times the player's attack and increases boss damage by 15%. The little thing I have says 13%, but I actually saw the Luffy Pet in-game. I'm pretty sure it does 15%. I'm just going to say 15% to round up and just, you know, for my own experience. But 15% uh, boss damage for, uh, for 10 seconds is actually kind of broken. I'm going to put it in S tier. Uh... It's really low S tier though. I really wish it did 17 times the player's attack. Shanks uh, is the next pet. He deals 12 times the player's attack and increases crit chance by 15% for 10 seconds and increases movement speed uh, for 8 seconds. Kind of broken pet. For raid, that's not really that good, but for dimensions, that is pretty good. I'm gonna put it in A tier. Not quite above Accelerator Pet, but it's still good. Next up, we got Tengen Pet. He does 12 times the player's attack and increases crit damage by 25% for 10 seconds, which is just an improved version of uh, Chainsaw Man Pet. So, I don't really think it's uh, anything too insane. If that was Crit Chance, that'd probably be the best pet. Actually, I forgot about Shadow Monarch Pet. But yeah, this isn't so good. Nothing special. I am going to put a... Uh, I'm gonna put it right under uh, Infinite Gojo Pet. Next up, we got Obito Pet. Obito Pet only does 10 times the player's attack, but increases crit chance by 10% and reduces all skill cooldowns by 1.5 seconds. Which, they I can tell they tried to make it like Kirby, but, uh, you know, they kind of screwed up the crit chance and the cooldown reduction. To be honest, I'm gonna say probably top B tier. Uh, maybe not. Uh, I'll put it, I'll put it top B tier. Next up, we got Naruto Pet. It deals 10 times the player's attack for, well, uh, increases boss damage by, uh, 12% for 8 seconds. And increases movement speed by 8 seconds. So, not too terrible. Not really too good either. I'm gonna put it bottom A tier. Cause I guess that's alright for Dimensions. I'll actually, I'll put that above Shanks. Alright, so above Shanks. And next up, we got Combat Titan. Combat Titan does seven times or 17 times player's attack and increases attack by 19% for 10 seconds, which uh, I kind of like that. Uh, that's pretty good. I'm going to put it right here. Uh, if it was doing 12% or uh, 12 times player's attack, it would probably be A tier, but uh, it's doing 17 times. Next up, we got Shadow as the deal seven times the player's attack and freezes the enemy for two seconds. That's not good. Shadow Yorchi deals 7.5 times uh, attack. It says attack as damage, which uh, sounds weird because none of the other ones say that. 
So I'm just gonna put it above as that just in case. Shadow Armor does uh, six times player's attack, but heals 0.5% HP every hit. So bottom D tier. Kurumi is top S tier, uh, almost 18 times uh, the attack, or player's attack, and uh, and decreases school cooldown by like 6 seconds in total, or 4 seconds, I don't really remember, but uh, it's really good. Next up we got Aquapet, uh, Aquapet is kinda underrated, not gonna lie. Uh, it's healing, you're pretty much just invincible, even if you don't even activate the pet that much. Because it gives you multiple seconds of invincibility, which means if you had an infinite one, you'd literally just be invincible. But I'm pretty sure Aqua also gives 17 times player's attack. I don't think it's too good. Uh, I'm going to put it probably C tier. Uh, actually, I'll put it bottom C tier. I'm going to have to make a new row. Hold on. Alright, so I made an F roll or a row, so I can just put these on. Because they do, do need to be extremely separated from all these. Next up, we got Dio Pet. Dio Pet does 17 times player's attack and reduces uh, all skill cooldowns by 3.4 and stuns enemies for 2 seconds. I don't know if he does 17 times player's attack because at level 1 he does 10 times, which I'm pretty sure uh, makes it go up to 18, but it could be 12. I am going to put it above Shadow Mark Pet. Uh, next up, we got Ichigo Pet. Ichigo Pet does 17 times player's damage or attack, not damage, and increases crit chance by I think 20% and crit chance by I think 4 40 or 50 and increases movement speed for 10 seconds in my opinion second best pet like it's better for Kermi for dimensions probably and uh, not as good for raid but still extremely good next up we got goku pet goku pet reduces uh, uh skill cooldown by three three seconds and increases movement, movement speed uh for eight seconds now i don't know how much attack it does but i'm pretty sure it does 17 times or uh yeah 17 times this pet um, I don't really think it's that good. I'm gonna put it right here. The only thing really good about it is, well, like, everything. Everything about it's good. It's just, like, just cooldown. It's not that good. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what Kirby does, but Kirby's cooldown's, like, way better. Kirby's cooldown is, like, seven hits, or seven per, or seven seconds, which is double this one. Uh, I, I might just increase it, because, like, I don't know, it's probably better for dimensions than like these two pets. But yeah, that's it for the tier list. Um, this, I'll just put it in D tier. I don't know what it, it's just a screenshot of me. For some reason I just had that, but uh, yeah. I'll see you guys on another video where I crack my window with uh, rubber. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Do you guys like light?